hello everyone welcome to decor corner channel if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel decor corner we have had a lot of time the last couple of years to think about what important in life now more than ever we understand the benefits of connecting with our loved ones in person if you think about it dining rooms are in indeed the heart of our homes they are the spaces where we share good times with family and friends in everything entertaining from cooking delicious meals to enjoying lovely conversations a beautiful dining area one that reflects your taste and style makes the experience even sweeter now imagine the perfect dining room decor whether it's standalone room or part of an open concept your dining area should be a practical function and beautiful here are tips to get you started allow the architectural details your home to guide you always pick the style of wooden fabric that minimize the design of your home it will add character to your room and make a statement this doesn't mean if you live in an 18th country house that you may not have a contemporary dining room mixing interior design styles and times works as long as the contrasting style is visually contained within the room if you have a lovely stone frame house and a long for a glass and chrome dining set go ahead however perhaps add some french doors to the dining room to confine the style within the room think of space and scale you might find it challenging when you begin planning your new dining room but furniture placement can be boundless if you create a wish list and a plan your planning process will be much easier if you think of the shape of the room and your traffic pattern what's the perfect table size 42 is the ideal width for a table it allows for the perfect table setup including dishes table centerpieces glassware candles wine bottles and great conversation remember a dining room without a dining table is only a room that's why it's essential to decide what the purpose of your room will be is it for eating entertaining only or will it be multifunctional such as using the room as a workspace or gaming area your decision will help you determine the size and shape of the table and other pieces you will need for the space it's important to keep in mind the number of people you will be hosting at one time a leaf extension of butterfly leaf is a great option when you have a new extra guests for dinner mix different styles of furniture interior design has come a long way you don't always have to have the traditional table with six matching chairs you can mix and match dining furniture in several ways try matching the middle chairs with two captain chairs at each end of the table another option would be to line three sides of table with the same style of a chair and then insert a long upholstered bitch on the fourth side to get even more creative mix three different types of sitting mixing can go beyond furniture today's interior design rules say we can mix different wood colors as long as they have the same undertone you can combine different patterns and fabric colors as long as they follow the color wheel rules all you need to do it think outside the box your home is such an intimate space 
and should reflect your personality with a style in order to be successful in achieving this. You must put the time and effort into determining your preferred design style. Find the perfect area rug for your dining table. An area rug will define your dining space. Pick a material that is easy to clean like wool and hair on hide and then make sure you get the right size rug. The dining room area rug should be large enough for the table and chairs to fit about 2 feet of additional carpet around the table. Of course, we are talking about your dining room on a day-to-day -day basis. We are not talking about a couple of occasions a year when you have to break out the table's leaves for guests. If the dining area doesn't allow for the rug to be big enough, it's better not to have an area rug under the table at all. When the space is open concept between the living, dining and kitchen areas, you sometimes have limited room. The carpet is lovely to have to define each zone and achieve separation. The dining room rug shouldn't overlap into the other areas. To learn more about choosing the right size rug for your dining room and the importance of texture, check out how to select the perfect area rug. Dining room light fixture. A dimmer switch shall control the main light in any dining room. The dimmer allows you to turn out the full weight. When you need to clean and set up the dining area, then dial the light back down. When you need to create a more intimate evening, your dining room chandler is the main focal point or the piece of your dining area from contemporary to traditional. There are many options and styles to suit your room design. The light over your table should reflect the table style and other furniture in the room. Your chandelier needs to be hung low enough so as not to have in the eyes of your seated guests yet. Not so low as to interfere with the conversation across the table. Sometimes cove lighting is installed in older homes or dining rooms with high ceilings. This type of installed lighting offers a lovely flattering light around the perimeter of a room. Wall scones work well as accent line lighting in dining rooms. They adapt to any space and can create a romantic atmosphere especially when paired with candlelight. Finally, you can add lamps to your sideboard or buffet. These lamps are traditionally slightly taller than a table lamp and dark cold buffet lamps. There is a reason that restaurants turn down their lighting. Everything looks more appetizing and people look their best in low lighting, abandoned light and some table lamps on the mantel can make all the difference. Dining room wall decor. Your particular taste is what makes it your personal space. The art in your dining room should be something you love. All you need to know are the wall's measurements so that your specific art choices will fit. Assemble the pieces you have for a space and review your selection. Watercolors, original prints and photographs should generally be located away from direct sunlight. This said often these pieces are framed using special glass that protects the image from sun damage. Begin your process by analyzing your available wall space. Generally, a small piece of art looks better when contained on a thinner wall. There are many art display options to choose from for dining rooms. A gallery wall 
a large mirror, buttered wallpaper, a green wall, a chalk board, family photography, typography or work, a black collections, shelves, a buttered window treatment, a big blend, or a mix of two or the above. The artwork for a room should be the last element placed in your space with to hang your pieces until your area rug hutch cabinet tables chairs and lighting are all in place don't be afraid to add mirrors and sculptural pits into the mix remember this is your home it's a reflection of you and your family when grouping pieces of art or accessories don't forget the rule of three check out tips on how to hang art properly for more ideas the rule of threes say that things arranged in odd numbers look more appealing and memorable than even numbered groupings three seems to be the magic number but five seven and nine work nicely as well choose three objects of varying height and place on shelves sideboards and any other surface sometimes your eye wants one thing and your budget wants another but art and decor don't have to be expensive layering and decor can be done with any kind of budget what really matters are your color combinations and proportions from three you can take any room in your house to the next level we hope this video has opened your eyes to some the possibilities of decorating around your dining area room so sure to start working in your space and come up with some interesting ideas that you love enjoy the process and have fun spursing up your space thanks a lot <laughs>